In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can connect VAPI to N8N so that you could start building your own voice AI receptionist. So let's get straight into it. All right. So this is what we're going to be building today. Uh, I'll show you the demo first. We'll execute this step right here. And then I'm just going to click talk to an assistant. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I'd like to get the weather from uh, downtown Toronto. Let me check that for you real quick. The weather in downtown Toronto is currently sunny with a temperature of approximately 22 degrees in a 71 degrees and no rain is expected today. Enjoy your day. All right, so that was the demo. Now I'm going to show you guys step by step how we can build this exact workflow. All right, so first you want to create a VAPI account. Once you do have your VAPI account and you're logged in, you want to create a assistant. We'll be using blank template and you can name it whatever you'd like. Let's just create that assistant right there. And you're going to see something that looks like this. So now we want to set up the model. What does this mean? We want to enter a first message. This is the first message the assistant will say when it calls you and then the system prompt how you want the assistant to act uh, and everything like that. So I'm just going to copy and paste the message here that I did in the demo bot. And it's just super simple here. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? Uh, I'm just going to publish to save that. And then I'm also going to grab the prompt, another super simple prompt here just for the demo. Uh, I'm going to read it for you guys. You're a pleasant assistant. Your job is to find the weather in the place, city slash area that the user wants to. To find the weather, use the weather underscore tool. And then I also wrote answer. Let me check uh, that for you real quick before going to use the tool. And you guys can use that simple prompt to try and set this up for yourselves. So once you have the model set up like so, we're going to have to create a tool to be able to use uh, the connection, the API connection to VAPI. So we're going to go to, uh, sorry, the API connection to N8N. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools here and we're going to click create new tool. Now, once you're in the tools tab, you want to create new tool and you're going to click a custom tool just like so. And it's going to look just like this. So if you want to set up exactly how I set up the same weather tool, all we're going to do is we're going to name it weather underscore tool. The description can be something like this. This tool will find the weather in the location that user prompted. Super simple, just a little description. And then we want to add parameters. This is going to be the property that we're sending. So we're just going to name it, for example, place, and it's going to be a string and we'll just click apply. And then as you can see here, the server settings server URL is empty here. And that is what we are going to get from N8N to connect uh, to our tool here. So I'm just going to delete that. Actually, I'll keep it for now just to show you guys. So what you want to do now is go into your N8N and we're just going to grab a webhook node right here. And we want to change this to post. And now all you want to do is grab this post test URL. And we're going to go back to the tool and just put it here in the server URL and click save. So that's exactly how you set up the weather tool here. I'm just going to delete that because it's an exact clone of this other one. But as you can see, it has the webhook right there. So once you did that, you can go back to your assistant, you can scroll down to tools, and now you can actually select the weather tool here so that we can use it with our assistant. All right, so now we have this part set up in VAPI. Now we just have to finish the workflow here. So once we have that, as you can see, if I actually uh, click right here, execute workflow for this node right here, um, it's not going to work because I didn't do that tool. So let me just do the tool real quick uh, and change the uh, webhook link right here so that it works for this one. There we go. Then as you can see here, we're just going to click execute workflow and we are listening for an event here and if I do actually go back to the assistant here in the one we just created 
and I click talk to an assistant. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? Hey, I'd like to get the weather from Toronto. It looks like there was an issue retrieving the weather for Toronto. Let's try it again. Would so now, if we come back here, as you can see, we got a bunch of data here. And the most important is the argument sent place Toronto. So we got the place extracted into N8N. And as you can see, it is actually green. And now what we can do <coughs> is do something with that data. So we're going to create an AI agent here. And uh, for this AI agent, uh, we're just going to make a prompt that looks like this. Pretty simple. So let me just copy and paste that and then I'll read it for you guys. So right here. So find the weather for and then I basically just drag and dropped uh, this variable right here. So you can see Toronto just like that. And then I wrote only output one sentence, no new lines. And then we can connect our open router. You guys can connect uh, the open AI chat model. I just use open router as an aggregator. And now we can feed the data in and then we also want it to respond. So all we're going to do is create a respond to webhook. So we're going to write webhook here. Respond to webhook node, just like so. And then we're going to click on JSON here because we need to respond with a certain format for VAPI to understand it. And uh, basically, I have it right here, but it's in their documentation. Uh, but you guys can just copy this. Uh, it's basically a results variable array and broken into two parts. Um, and then one is going to be the tool call ID that we need to grab and then the result that we want to send back. So you guys can copy and paste this code for this specific one. Uh, and then we're going to put it into here. And also, if you guys want to copy and paste this template and try this whole thing out for yourselves, you guys can download this from my school in the description down below. It is free. So just go to the description, join the school and you'll get this template and many more. Also, if you want to learn how to drop ship, I have a full course on there completely for free. So once you do post the response into here, all we got to do is change the webhook here instead of respond immediately. We're going to do using respond to webhook node. And then once we do that, the, sh the setup should be set up well and we're just going to save. So now we're just going to test it. We're going to click execute workflow here so that it's listening for the webhook and we'll talk to the assistant. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I'd like to get the weather from Miami. It seems there was an issue retrieving the weather for Miami. Please try again or let me know if you'd like to check the weather for a different location. All right. So we ran into an issue. Let me see what it could be. So error finding reference node. And that's because the uh, webhook ID is different. So let me just find this. It's going to be this ID. So for some reason, it was not picked up well as a variable. So I'm just going to replace it here. So if that happens to you guys as well, uh, you just scroll down here to where the tools called and then you go to the array tool call zero and you grab the ID. This ID is the one that needs to be linked to this variable. So sorry about that. Quick debugging live for you guys. And now I'm going to show you guys it working. So I'm going to click execute and let's retry that. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? Get me the weather from Miami, please. I'm sorry, but I currently can't access real-time weather updates for Miami. 
you can check the weather using online weather services or apps like and uh sorry about that guys as well so the other issue here that actually i incurred is that um uh, chat gpt 4 actually cannot uh, access the live internet so what I did here is I used perplexity instead because perplexity actually is a model where you can uh, connect to the internet. So let me just get my perplexity here. All right, so now it should actually work because it has access to live internet and I'm gonna execute this one more time just to show you guys that it actually works now. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I'd like to get the weather from Miami, please. Today in Miami, the weather is, is partly sunny uh, with a couple of afternoon showers. The high temperature will be around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. There are breezy winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour, influenced by Hurricane Imelda nearby. Be aware of hazardous rip currents and rough marine conditions if you're planning to be outdoors. Awesome. So as you guys can see, now it works perfectly fine. So we did run into some issues there, but I'm glad that I could show you guys how I debug it live and figure out the issue. Just in case you guys have issues too, don't get demotivated. Always try and keep pushing to figure out why the issue happened. As you can see, even for such a small demo like this, there could always be some issues. So hopefully if you guys ran into some of those, I cleared it up in this video right here. And I'm going to be putting this template in my school. Make sure to join there. But other than that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It does help me a lot and I do appreciate it. But other than that, take it easy, guys. See you next time.